Welcome back everybody to the Minecraft Travels. My name is Warrior009 and last episode I left you guys off with making or kind of showing you the new Wither Spawn uh, pad. I think that's what we decided to call it, the Wither Spawn pad. So if you guys didn't see that, it was just me kind of updating from two episodes ago. I made the original Wither Spawn pad and it didn't really work. It actually really sucked. So I went I looked at some YouTube videos, looked up some other things on some forums, and I built a new Wither Spawn pad. We'll see it soon if you guys haven't seen it yet, but I wanted to make a new thing so that I could take a real track, or a minecart, all the way to it. Because as you guys can see, it's 354 blocks away. It's kind of far away, so I've been gathering up some resources, doing some things like that, but we need to go back into the overworld. We need to make some rails, get all that stuff done. And I need to remember to put my armor back on because I usually forget to put it back on. But we need to make rails. We need to make some room in our inventory because we need to do a lot of work this episode. There's so many things to do. So luckily enough from some of my mining expeditions recently, I've got a bunch of rail here. But I believe we're going to need a lot more. So I'll make some room, try to get rid of some of the stuff in my inventory. Even though there's a ton of shit in here already. So we're going to need that. Another brick. Stone brick. Probably don't need that. Yeah, sticks. We'll probably make some torches just for the hell of it. We probably don't need wood. I don't see why I would. I don't see why I would need wood. But So we'll make some torches here real quick. And then we'll get some of the rail. We'll actually we'll probably have to build some more rail. And that's not how you do that. So we have eh, four and a half stacks. Yeah, I, I believe I'm going to need a lot more, but we're also going to need some powered rail, so I don't have that many gold ingots left, so that could be an issue. If it is, then we're going to have to figure something else out for the meantime. But maybe this will be enough to... So we'll make a little bit, but not a lot. That's the issue. It only gave me 18, so do I have any left from any other projects? Doesn't look like I do, so... That very well could become an issue quickly. If it does, I'll try to figure out something else, or... I'll just finish the rest of it with normal rail, and then we could figure out kind of what we want to do. I mean, I'll probably have to go figure out something, like go get more gold from more mining things. The problem is like, this isn't tech it, so I can't just go randomly and go find, or go condense some gold, so I actually need to find it in this. So this is what I've been working on recently. We just have stone brick down here. We have the nether brick fence, I believe it's called. Yeah, nether brick fence on the sides and then more stone brick. And it's three high because if you guys don't know, you need two blocks above the original rail block so so like this is occupying the first block and then you need two because you're sick once you're in the minecart you're like sitting up one so and it just makes it look a lot nicer so we actually have I have it going up here and if you guys don't remember from last episode I said I wanted to make a, make a, um, a train that goes through here and I didn't know whether I was gonna just blow through the wall here like I did or if I was going to go up and around and all around the landscape. But this was the easiest way, so. It is a little dark in here. So, hopefully you guys can see it okay. I'm going to try to be lighting it up along the way. Whether that's with glowstone blocks. Actually, that's something I wanted to try out. Kind of quickly. I wanted to see if I could put... Rail on top of glowstone blocks. Which I can't, so that's kind of an issue. So now what they need to uh, be going into the top. So I'm going to need to be putting them up here somewhere, like just along the way. And this is just basically to make it so that you guys can see... <laughs> you guys can see once we're actually like in the episode, so... We'll just throw a couple of these down here for the time being. Doesn't need to be perfect, but we have Stonebrook stairs going up here just so that, like, we'll have the train track going down the middle here. Actually, I'll just, 
I'll put some of this down for now and get an idea of the layout we want. Now I might be able to save some by not doing like usually I try to do power rail all the way up certain things but maybe I can save some and only do it like yeah, at the very beginning but we'll have to see. But we'll try to lay this down as far as we possibly can. I We're gonna need like 360 so I'm probably gonna need more than what I already have. But once we get out here as you guys can see it's not anywhere near completed. I need to still do a lot of work. So that's what today's episode is going to be really about. It's going to be trying to get this as as done like as far as we can go. Hopefully. Hopefully we can get pretty far. <laughs> and I really thought for whatever stupid reason that he hurt himself and he'd be coming after me. That would be an issue. But just so you guys can see we're going to put we're gonna put some glowstone back in here. Now I don't know what I'm gonna be doing like in here yet. I was originally just gonna make nether rack go all the way down to the weather spawn. And I was like, eh, it's not really gonna look that good. And might as well just take the time and do it do it right. So that's why I was doing the stone brick and the uh, nether brick fence, which we have a lot of back here at the uh, nether portal spawn. So we'll grab a bunch of that, we'll Hopefully get the pattern going again. Actually, I'm going to need to make a lot more brick. But we have a lot of nether brick, so we should be good for the time being. So, I believe it's just, like, normal. Yeah. I still haven't put inventory tweaks on, even though I should have. And inventory tweaks just takes, like... Once I run out of a stack here, it would take the next stack and put it back in, but I've just been lazy. And then with Minecraft updating quite a bit recently, it's just been kind of no point of doing it. Because if you guys don't know, once you update Minecraft, it just screws all your mods. And the reason I'm doing that like doing this little overhang thing is because of that. I don't want to get bombed while going to my wither spawn, so. Actually, I think I'm doing this. I think I already did this wrong. I want to say I had stone brick down the bottom, too. And this is only too high. I did. Crap. Okay. So we need to take out the bottom the bottom layer real fast. I was in here the other day just like for probably three hours trying to figure out what exactly I wanted to do because if you guys didn't see the last episode, I really wanted to test the current wither spawn pad and see if it actually worked and I mean it don't get me wrong it does work it's just really slow and I don't know like I looked into it and it just doesn't see nobody has any good answers so I'm gonna stick with it for as long as I can but with the percentage rate being like 1 in 40 for wither skulls to drop it's like it just takes forever and then one person in the comments was like, well, you could put a skeleton spawner in there. It's like, yeah, that would work, but I don't want to, don't want to spawn anything in. It's not the point of, like, it's not the point of vanilla Minecraft to be spawning stuff in. Like, I don't mind the mods. The mods are fine, but. But when you kind of resort come down to spawning stuff in. It takes all the fun out of it. Like, oh look, I can give myself all this stuff. It's like, oh, okay. What's the point of doing anything then? Well, I don't know. You might as well just do creative mode. So this is going to take a long time, actually.
But the reason... Uh, so I'll explain this a little bit better since I haven't really... I mean, this episode's going to be a lot of talking, so... The reason I'm doing this three wide is so that when we have... Somebody going down, like, Weather Buster comes back, I... <laughs> I have no idea. But whether somebody's, like, riding down here... Somebody could be walking out. And then also, I want to be doing stuff like here. Because once we make a... The little overhang here, I'll have a door. So I can walk out, and if I want to go that way, I can go that way, so... That's why it's three wide, and it just looks better, so... The problem is, I mean, you just have to use a lot more materials, which kind of sucks at the same time. But then hopefully this kind of lowers the amount of things that would spawn here, too, so... Because now that there's more mobs in the nether, there are a lot of things spawning, whether it's blazes, with, like... The other day I did see a wither skeleton like right here. Like he was, I think he spawned here and then he just walked off so. But then we've got the blazes and we've got the little magma cubes and all those guys so. Everyth <laughs> everything possible to like take down a minecart so. That's why I'm really trying to put in the time and build this as well as I can. And actually here, I don't think I'm gonna... I won't change anything up really. But we will take out this guy. Hmm. While I see him, I, I want to take him out just so if I do get hurt, I'm not like dying here. And of course he's gonna run away. Get back here! Come on! Fly! <laughs> World of Warcraft days, line of sight! <laughs> Get him to come here. Really, that didn't work. That's surprising. Usually line of sight works so that when they can't see you, they just come straight after you. This is going to take so much fence. This is going to take well over a thousand pieces of fence. <laughs> I should probably just go back and just... That's all I should make. Shit! Stop blowing my shit up! So like I said, here I want to make a door. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this yet. I'll probably... Hmm. Oh, see? Okay. Here's another one. Here's another wither skeleton. So they do spawn here, which is strange, because we've been here for a while. Of course, he drops a stupid wooden sword. Of course, this guy's gonna be really annoying right now. Stop! Haha, uh -huh, you're stuck up the top. Oh, shit. <laughs> Stop lighting my shit on fire, man! Get back here. Oh, there's two. Okay, well, while they're doing that, I'm gonna, gotta run, like, we need a lot of nether brick fence, so maybe I could get most of that done today, and, I mean, I'm not gonna make you guys sit here and watch this entire, me, like, this is gonna take a couple hours, so I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch it, but, like, we'll move back and forth, we'll move closer to the nether spawn, or the weather skeleton spawn pad, and then we'll change thing, some things up, and, We still need to do a lot of other things in this world, so. But once we get this done, like, this kind of almost sets the stage for the rest of, like, another, another world, essentially. So, like, now that we have the little house here, the portal house, then we'll have a train track, and we could go to different little, um, 
fortresses and stuff like that. So this is going to be a really nice thing to have for the future. Like, who knows? Maybe in one of the newer updates. Look, there's another one. They'll have like a, uh, it'd be cool to have another boss. Shit. Of course, these guys just don't drop anything. But it'd be nice to have like a really, I guess like the wither boss would kind of be a, uh, since you have to get the stuff from the nether anyways, it, it's kind of like another boss, but it'd be cool to have something actually in here. That you'd have to like really gear up and fight and like it shoot fire. It'd almost be like a blaze boss. Like that'd be a really interesting thing to go against. Because if you had a blaze boss, then you'd have to worry about fire and then maybe like a wither kind of feature to it or a ghast feature to it. Be cool to make it like a really, really complex fight. Because if you didn't get my reference earlier, I did play World of Warcraft, and I'm not very proud of it, but I did enjoy the the raids once we got up to it. Just because I really like like the complex things where you have to have everybody on the same page and not just. Like some things, especially in most video games, they're just like, yeah, it might take a couple tries, but whatever, it's not that big of a deal. But when you start getting into things like World of Warcraft and Diablo and stuff like that, it's really fun when you can do really complex things and actually have to have a little bit of thought going into it. So then once again, once we get here, we'll have another door so that we can go that way, even though there's not really, I think it's a dead end. But I think I'll, I'll get up to this point, and then we'll start working on the, um, if I can ever get it up to this point. Like, I'm over here, and not, did I just blow by the thing? Okay, we have to turn here. Hmm. Okay, so once we get up here, though, like, this is where the weird staircase is. I already tried to do this, so... I wanted to really measure this, in. so it'd probably come in like this, maybe around, and then up, like so. And then go on its merry way again, which should be here. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Oh, it doesn't like automatically change. But then once we get here, so we'd, we'd keep going straight, as you guys can see by the redstone arrows. Keep going straight, and then uh, we'd go down the little bridge thing that I made originally. I didn't make it one wider. The problem is half of it's cobblestone, half of it's stone brick, so it is a little bit wider. And then we'll get all the way down here. Like, this is going to be the difficult part. I'd like to make out of glass, but I don't think glass is really gas-proof, so... Probably just have to do the normal thing again. But then we go down two things here. And then cross over. And then we're going to make a little base where my original pad was. So we'll make that. Make something like where I can start. <laughs> of course, it's a perfect spawning pad for all these guys. But we'll make a little house thing here so that we can have a nether wart growing and We'll actually probably make a huge nether wart farm so that I can make a bunch of potions and stuff like that. And then we could even kill these guys for gold nuggets if we really want to. Maybe that's how I'm going to have to get my uh, my gold for all the power rail. But if you guys haven't seen this from the last episode, this is the new weather spawn pad. So it's four levels. I mean, as you guys can see, there's not anything... There's nothing here yet. They do spawn here. I have seen it, but... It's just slow, so I don't know if it's just normally supposed to be that slow, or... But hopefully I can do some other things, and maybe once I'm here a little bit more often, then it will start becoming a little bit better.
But I really just... I want the train track to come to here. I want it to get into this area. Because once it's in this area, I can make this a home base. I can go here if I want to get my wither skeleton skulls, hopefully. So that I can eventually fight the wither boss. But until that happens, I mean... Uh, there's so much to do. So little time and so much to do. And you know what? I'm actually gonna... I think I'm gonna work on this. I'm gonna... Like, cut the episode here. I am I will bring it back. You guys won't notice any difference. Like, it'll just fade in and then... Or actually, it'll fade out and they'll fade back in. And then maybe once it fades back in, this might be done. Hopefully. If not, it'll be mostly done. I'm gonna work on this for a while. I don't have anything else to do, so... Hopefully I can get a lot of this done. And then I can take my time and show you guys the railroad Minecraft mine cart track thing. Because that's probably what you want to see. You don't want to watch me put another brick fence up and stone brick. So it'll start fading out now, but don't worry. It'll be right back. And we are back. I am done with the kind of the tunnel, bridge, whatever. Well, it's kind of both. Tunnel, bridge, part in the nether. I came back here to start getting some more supplies for more more rails because we did or I put some down and I ran out so I need to make more and luckily enough I have enough rail for or I have enough iron for the normal rails but I have no gold for the powered rails so I'm gonna go to Buster's house and see if he has any gold hopefully he's got something because I need gold if I don't have gold I can't finish the project so Hopefully we can get this done and then we can... Actually, that gave me an idea. Might make some detector plates too because... I don't really like some of the setup I have now. So let's... First of all, we have to see if he has gold. If he has gold, then that's great. If not, then we're kind of screwed. So XP spawner drops, nothing. He's got a bunch of iron, some diamond. Those are not emeralds. Gold. Perfect. He's got a ton of gold. So, hopefully he won't miss this. And even if he comes back, he won't know what's missing. So, we'll make some powered rail. We'll make some detector rails, too, to try to get... I don't know why this is broken, too. I don't remember why we broke this. Go! Faster! Go! 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 Yeah, yeah. So we'll make the power rail, we'll make detector rail, we'll go back into the nether, I'll show you the the finished product, and then we'll put some more rail down and then we'll end the episode. This will probably be another 10 minutes or so, but just gotta make a bunch of rails and get some sticks. <laughs> Hopefully we have something left here. Normal wood. Oh good, okay. So let's say we'd have an issue if we didn't have any any wood left. So just make a bunch here. I'm gonna need a lot, I think. So it's twenty. F yeah, let's go with two more. Okay, so we have thirty-six powered rail, and. Trying to remember how to make the detector rail. I know I need pressure plates, but I don't think I have any stone. Oh, I do have stone. Okay. Let's try to make some of these at least. And I want to say it's this. I haven't made these in a while, so. No. Hmm. Probably redstone in this somewhere. Uh, redstone. Let's see if we can figure this out quickly. Uh, pressure plate. Redstone here, maybe? No. Stick? No. I don't think it's gold. Like. Yeah, I knew it wasn't gold. 
Oh, I think I... Is it this then? Is it pressure plate and redstone? Aha! Okay. So we'll make... You know, we'll probably need a bunch of these actually. So we'll make all six. And we'll do this. So we have 36 power, 36 detector rails, and then we're going to need some more normal rails. Hopefully we'll have enough here. Then we'll go back in the nether, we'll try to get everything completed. Do I have a button? I have one button. Probably going to need two. We have two buttons. <laughs> So, this did take a while. I did use, I went through all my resources very quickly, and so I had to take more time and go find some more resources. So, as you guys can see, there's no more nether brick left. There's no more stone brick left. This was a project and a half, to say the least. So, put that there. We'll put our plank of wood down with our button. That powers that. So I don't think the detector will work here. So we are going to have to have the torch here. I don't like having the torch there, but it is what it is. But we can put the detector down here. Because like I said, I don't like the torches. But if we have detector rail, it, it should work fine. So as you guys can see, it's just basically the same design, but I did put iron doors down with buttons here so I can get in and out of places where I need to, and then these guys can't get in even though they are here right now, and they keep spawning in here, so I'm going to have to figure out something about that, but hopefully we can get something going. I've seen something where you can use half slabs, like across the middle here. And I'm going to have to really look into that. If it does work, that's great. If it doesn't, that's not so great. Because I do need something to... I wonder if that's going to have enough power. Great, and then we got this guy up here. And two Wither Skelt. Holy crap. This isn't good. This isn't good. This isn't good. No. No, no, no. Oh my god, why am I all the way back here? Oh, I don't have any rail. Huh. <laughs> no. Um. Go! So this could take a while. Crap. I wasn't quite expecting that. But if you guys haven't seen this in a while, <laughs> we've only gone on this train ride about 50 times. So, about that. Hmm. I still haven't finished this yet. Like, I'm trying to get it so that we have the little wood planks every, like, I think it's every 10 or so, so we'll, I'll get that done eventually, but. What the hell is this guy doing? Oh, it's a normal zombie, okay. I thought that was a pig man. I was like, uh, you're not supposed to be here. It's kind of a strange place for you to be. It's a good thing we made this, though. So otherwise it'd take forever. Oh, I could have just gone. Uh, I didn't think that through very well. I could have just gone through the portal that was right there. We have a portal right outside of that little first storage shed that's over by the new town, so. But I didn't think to go through that, so. Hopefully next time I'll remember if I do die. I had full diamond armor though, I don't get that. That guy just destroyed me. And now the sound's glitching out. <laughs> B. 
pick you up. Push. Again. And glitching out again. Actually, I have some armor here, so maybe I can... Maybe this wasn't such a bad idea. Iron leggings, helmet. Do I have a sword? Sword? Yeah, pickaxe. Well, this is better than nothing, so... Do I have a chest plate? No? I have a lot of signs. Alright, well, we'll go grab our stuff, hopefully. I don't think wither skeletons take your stuff. I hope not. I know skeletons and... Actually, no, not skeletons. The skeletons? I know pigmen do. Oh, I didn't grab... Darn it. I didn't grab the minecart, so we'll have to run there. But I'm going to kill him with my pickaxe. I can't believe I died. That was like so fast too. It's like I first I saw the blaze guy and I was like, yeah, we could take him. And all of a sudden, two wither skeletons come. It's like, oh, this is a bad idea. And of course, they're really fast, so you can't really run away from them that well. But our stuff should be right up here, hopefully. Everything nice and neat. So we'll put that back on. That. Diamonds. Diamonds. Have our sword. Have our pickaxe. Our shovel. Get that back there. Our normal rail. Powered rail. And our redstone. Torches. So we'll finish doing this. Hopefully. And I didn't do this. Okay. Put a redstone torch somewhere here. Yep. Powers everything. Okay. That's good. Put our power down. And our two detectors. Now if it was along the side, I could just use normal redstone, but since it's in the middle, I want to make it look a little bit cleaner, so that's why I'm going with the detector rails. Otherwise I would not do it, because they are more expensive than just normal redstone torches, so... I believe this is going to be a powered rail. I really don't... I don't I'm not going to have enough. Get down to like 32 or something like that. Go detector, power, detector. We're gonna get almost all the way there, so maybe I won't. I might not finish this completely today, but we can test it out from like. from this point, basically. So we'll get our wood, wood down, and a button. Because we are going to have to change it eventually once we get into here. Because it will be a new base, so maybe we'll make a little train station depot type thing. And who knows, maybe later on we'll have different different train tracks going different ways. So Or minecart tracks. So we'll see if this works. If it does, that's great. If not, it's troubleshooting time. So far so good. The issue is just going to be kind of the up and down thing. Or these guys. Bastard. Alright. So we are going to have to figure out something about that. Don't know quite yet. Hopefully the pigman doesn't get in the way. Go! Go! Get there! 
Oh, that definitely had enough speed to get up. Okay, so that's good. This could be a little... That worked fine that way, but I'm worried about going the other way. So, we'll test it both ways. If it works, that's great. If not, like I said, we'll, we'll have to change something. But so far, it looks pretty good. Only thing are these guys. So, go through them. Oh shit! I didn't do that. You you hit me, bastard. Oh my god. Okay, so this could get a little interesting. Hopefully none of them heard it. So we'll test it the other way. <laughs> Good so far. Detector. good thing is like now I'm protected so now I don't have to really worry about getting hit with a gas or anything this is gonna be the part that I'm worried about right here yeah I'm not liking that so once we get here put a detector power and a detector here. Oops. Put a detector there. So then we will try to push the cart up the thing. No, no, no! Mm -hmm. Get back here! This isn't a very easy spot to be testing this, but actually we'll just start it back here and hopefully we'll have enough boost to be going. Okay, that works. Good enough for me. So now this should... Okay, that's another part I was kind of worried about. And getting up this slope might be... Oh, that's fine. Okay. It looks pretty good. Not the most perfect thing I've ever seen, but it does work, so... We got something accomplished today! That's surprising. <laughs> Last few episodes have been kind of boring as hell. Because at first, the wither spawn pad didn't work. And then the next one, I just basically showed you what I built, so that was kind of lame. But now we actually have a working tunnel bridge thing to go to our spawn pad, so... I know this isn't the most interesting thing, but... This kind of opens up opportunities for in the nether type stuff, so. So we'll get back, we'll put some of the stuff away, and then we'll wrap up the episode, try to. Like, I don't really need to explain that much of what we did in this episode, so that's always a good thing. Unlike Tekka, where I have to go through and, like, explain 18 things that we did. So. And if you guys don't remember, this is our nether wart farm. Just to show you guys quickly. This is what I'm probably going to move to the other place so I, that I could sit there and wait until they spawn, so. So we'll go back home. Where it's raining. That is the one good thing about the nether. It never rains. But we'll put all this stuff in its rightful place. We'll put this back. So, today, I had a little bit of a split episode where I showed you guys what I was planning on doing with the tunnel bridge thing, and then, once I showed you guys the basic pattern, then I went back and finished it because it would have taken forever. It would have been like a two hour episode, and you guys don't need to see that, so. So, I brought you guys back when I finished it, and then we went back through and did all the rails and stuff, so it is complete, for the most part, except for the end part of the train section, but we'll finish that when we start building a kind of a 
different base in the nether so hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode um like always if you have any suggestions whatsoever just leave a comment i do see all the comments so if you have any suggestions on what you want to see in this series or in other series just say something and i'll respond or take a look at it so once again hopefully you enjoyed the episode if you did please leave a like favorite if you guys share it that's perfect because it opens up the opportunity for more people to see it so thank you very much for watching and have a nice day